Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so today we got a 2023 Santa Fe 2.5 Turbo. Um, it's fairly new, I think. <laughs> we got 48,000 kilometers there on our odometer. As you can see there, our flasher is on. And it's blinking fast. I can't turn that off. That's our complaint. And uh, let me just go here. So earlier, um, it says here, okay, let's go to the triangle here. So it says there, check LED, headlight, check turn signal. So right now, I'm just scanning for any codes, just in case. Um, and also, what what's the weird thing on this one is, I don't know, if maybe it's a default. Every time you um, remove the negative cable, on the battery and you reconnect that the tailgate opens by itself so we're gonna um, check that I'm gonna show you guys um, when I remove the negative cable but I'm just gonna go through to this um, full system scan and let's see if we have any codes if not um, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna check this and see if uh, what's wrong with this vehicle okay so I'm done with the full system scan so far it doesn't say any codes here so that's useless <laughs> but uh, while I was waiting for the full system scan I was trying to see if all our lights is working right sunroof is working just to see what else is now working on this one right window is working and then when I was playing around here my radio works I push our heater here oops or fan control doesn't do anything I don't hear any blowing let me see if on hot does it do that so nothing so our blower doesn't work um, what else is not working I don't know um, well it says to check LED light um, how, how about a mirror okay that's working it's moving up and down okay so um, how about washer okay good washer is working um so let's go outside i'm gonna remove the negative cable and try this again and then i'll show you the tailgate that's open by itself okay so i'm gonna remove first our negative cable there remove that once i reconnect that no one sits at the back and you can hear that beeping and you can also hear that beeping that's locking and unlocking so um, I'm gonna hook up our charger on this one and let's see first our wiring diagram because now I noticed that our blower doesn't work and check our diagram for our turn signal our front LED and our tailgate and let's see if there's any common areas there and then yeah we'll see okay we're outside right now because inside is kind of noisy I'm taking a video because of that flasher is on so anyway here's our wiring diagram for our turn signal so we got some fuses there hot at all times and there's our hazard switch um even though uh, what well, i'm thinking even though this is like stuck close right to turn on the lights but you should not flash like that because the flashing of that light is just like it's more faster than a regular um hazard lights right so that's how it is we have one ground there power 
So it's just looking for a ground signal to turn on the switch. We got headlamp here, turn lamp, and the headlamp. We got some grounds there. So right hand, right hand. Turn on the mirror. So next is we're gonna go to our blower motor. This looks like that's Here's our blower motor. Uh, we got 40 amp fuse there. And the multi fuse uh, blower relay. 10 amp AC2. Our blower motor. And there's a transistor here. So, yeah, um, we got common fuses here. 7.5 um, AC module 9 module 6 right um, and then that's so weird for the tailgate to open by that by itself I haven't seen that uh, like that before so let's just go to our tailgate opener let's just see that circuit quick so we got a door lock 20 amp there okay What else? Tailgate latch GF03. But GF03 that's the same as our ground on our turn signal. Uh, yeah, turn signal for the back. So GF03 that's on the left rear uh, panel without power tailgate. Okay, where's the with power tailgate? Without power tailgate. Is that good? So where's the power tailgate? Power tailgate, okay. Okay, power tailgate, same thing. The one earlier was without power tailgate. 20 amp fuse for the door lock. Module 9, 15 amp. Latch, latch. GF03. Okay, that's it, right? That's number two. GF03, GM02. Okay, so GF03, or certain signal. <clears throat> well, was on the rear. So GF03 is for the stop stop lamp. Okay. Outside passenger GF02. Turn lamp telltale. Trailer lamp GF03. Okay. So we have two common grounds, GF03 um, for your turn signal at the back and for your um, our tailgate and our blower motor is not working. I think for me let's go to the blower motor, that's the easiest. Let's go back there. Let's just check our fuse first. So we're gonna check our 40 amp. Well, that's a multi fuse. We can't really check that. We'll check our AC to 10 amp. And the rest of these fuses here, right? 
module 9, module 6. Okay, so we got our test light here. So we'll hook up our negative cable there. And look for AC. Is it AC? AC2. So AC2. AC2. Where are you? AC2, AC1 is 10 amps. Is there another AC? AC2, 10 amps. So, 10 amp, 10 amp. So, power, 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 power. Okay, that's good. So, meaning from here going there, the power there. Right? GE02. So I should not be worried of GE02 because you should not get power there if a relay will not work. So we're not gonna we're gonna go inside and check our fuses there and see. Okay, so I'm gonna be looking AC 7.5 module 9 and module 6. So put in the ground there. Let's see if we have power. We have good ground. Okay, so I have good ground now on my test light. I'm just gonna be looking module nine, module six, module nine and module six. So module nine, 15 amp. This is the top one. And this is long term load, okay? Hot in module 6. 567.5. Okay. Hot in or on start. So let's turn on our ignition. Power. Power okay. Next will be AC. Where's our AC? AC seven point five. Okay, you got power there. I'm just gonna go to our turn signal wiring diagram I just want to see because there's a fuse there too I'm just gonna go double check that fuse quick module 8 7.5 1 2 3 4 okay so there's power there now how are we gonna tackle this issue <laughs> we know we don't have power on our blower because that should turn on nothing is going on there and why is nothing going on there GM01 and see this GM01 that's for that side there GM01 and our turn signal I saw a GM01 to there so we got GM01 there for a flasher That's where that's in here, this side here. Should I check that? That ground? Should I check that ground? What? 
spoilers. <laughs> Rubber band there. Can I see it? That's the question. Can I feel that wire? Because it says there should be a ground there. Well, I don't see there. Well, I'm just feeling it here. Um. This GM01 is there, and that's also the ground on our um, blower motor. Um, let's go first. You know what? Oops. Oh, no. I'm gonna go to our blower motor. I think we're gonna start from here. So that's our blower motor there. Let's, let's look for this transistor. Location. Nice. Let me put it there. Good job. So that's behind the <laughs> glove box. Oh my god. And this blower motor. Two only. So there should be one power, one ground, right? Power, one, ground this side. So it's a ground control blower motor. So I think we're gonna go there and see. Okay, so we're on the passenger front. I just remove our cover here. And I notice on our cover here, you can see some stain there. And it's like it's too bright, you can see there on our um, foam there. There's some stain. I don't know why there's stain there. And I see some green spot here. I don't know if this is paint or something else because it goes in here too so one red that should be all all the time power right ignition on is it ignition on yeah that's ignition on on my back row i can see my test light so my circuit all the way going in there but my ground side we need something there i need uh, scope or something like that that we can see the changes of that signal or ground side but here let me remove this guy here I don't know what what connection is this one this I can also see paint here right Okay. You know what, let me... I have a feeling there's something going on here. Let me remove this. Very quick. Here. that's good my feeling is not good okay so let's just see the control side of that or the ground the ground side of that blower motor let me grab my uh, small scope and let's see if we can see some signal change there okay so I have my small scope here I connected the other lead to the ground so let's go to the power side first and we can see there that's reading 13 volts our signal just went up high let me adjust time here one second so I'm gonna go now to the ground side I'm just back probing okay okay back probe let's see if I'm gonna turn this on 
Okay, so we have some changes there. You can see that. So that's level 1. That's level 2. Level 3. Level 4. Level 5. And 7. And then full ground. So number 8 is full ground. Let me see here. And we should have ground here. Oh, let me connect our other end of this to the power side. And we should have power ground here, full ground. And you can see my test light. So, this guy should work. If you have power there, you have ground, that should work. How come our blower doesn't work? Huh? How come our blower doesn't work? Why is that good? You got power, you have ground there, and that should work. There's nothing else. <laughs> so we have a blower motor issue too. Okay. Okay, so I have my headlamp there connected to our blower motor connection here. So I'm gonna turn on first one level here. You can see there, that's a little bit deep. Let me turn this light off. You can see that. One more, one more, one more, one more. That's number five right now, number six. Number seven and full eight. So that's another issue. <laughs> Why my blower is not working? That's that's so weird. Okay. Okay, that's lap. What? They just broke. Let me try. Maybe it's a connection. No. No blower at all. So, okay. It's not related then. So, blower motor and our turn signal is not related. Um, now, we're gonna go look for our turn signal. Let's turn this off. Okay. So, we got a blower motor issue. And then turn signal. So how are we gonna how are we gonna diagnose this? We know our bulbs are working. It's just that with this type of scenario like that, I'm thinking if something is there's an open ground, missing ground, or a shorted shorted somewhere activate that but we have another clue when I turn everything on put it in drive it says our front check LED so let's go to our headlamp I just want to see our headlamp circuit Headlamp low, high, multi fuse. I haven't really checked the multi fuse. GE02. GE02 and GE04. That's on our engine bay. So the grounds are engine bay. Um, let me go just quickly check that multi fuse in our engine room's um, fuse box. And yeah, I'll just double check that if, if the fuses are good there. 
just so far visually the fuse the multi fuse was um, it was good so let's go back to our turn signal here the hazard switch ICUF I wonder if I'm gonna remove this connector ICUF does our um, our turn signal turns on or off so ICUF will be I think that's the back of the smart junction box yeah that's the back one let me see if I can um, squeeze my hand there so I removed that ICUF yeah it turns off everything but it's gonna make a warning lights a lot of warning lights in the cluster too because i think communication lines is there but as you can see there i don't know what's wrong with this um you can see some marks there like a rust mark so i don't know if something is going on here let's see let me remove this guy so i'm just come on You can see there's stains there, like a rust stains on this one, but nothing really on the connector. <laughs> so, what makes this guy think that there's an issue like this? Um, Where are we gonna go? Should we go to the headlight? I think the most easiest access there and see what's going on there. Because even though the car is off, your hazard switch will gonna be turned on, right? Should we go to the source for the hazard switch? What's going on there? Is that the right, right um, direction? Could be. Should we do that? Um, is this just a quick removal there? It looks like a quick removal there. Remove the vents and then remove the connector. Okay, let me try that and see. Okay, so we're now on the hazard switch area. We know we have good ground here, right? But our hazard switch is still activated. So what well, I'm thinking that this guy is seeing a ground because that's a switch for if you push that he just wants to see a ground and he's gonna turn it on so now i get my leads here i put one lead to the positive and now our testing lead will be going to that pink connector a pink wire right so if it goes jump to 12 so meaning it's seeing ground somewhere and we have to focus on that area there that's my opinion Okay, so I connected our positive going to the, this pink wire, which is um, that signal wire. It goes to the smart junction box. I see you have this guy. But why is it still on? So I'm not getting ground there, which is good. But for some reason, it still wants to turn it on. Um, I think everything points out to the junction box though, you know? So let me remove this guy here and plug it and see, see inside there what's going on and see from there. 
Okay, yeah, so we remove our crimp piece here. Well, when I was removing, I noticed there's some rust here. I don't know where's that coming from. <laughs> Could be related, unrelated, but anyway, I remove our smart junction box here. Um, here's our label here for fuses. Just want to double check if all the fuses are all there, right? Empty, 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 empty. Okay. So far, it all going in here, you know, like the the related thing. What connector is this? Is her trailer? Her trailer hitch? Let me try plugging this back then. Let's see. Right now, what am I doing? I'm just guessing right now. That's why that has a switch is getting a ground signal. Because I think that's how that's how it sees if he wants uh, he wants to turn on that turn signals. Let me just see here. The turn signal is on right now, but on one side. So I just plug that back in here. This guy. It's my signal. Okay, my turn signal is still on. But only on the right side. Only the front. Yeah, only the front. Only the front that is turning on. You can see the light there. Only the right side that's turning on. And let's see where wait first. I just want to see our right side. Turn lamp. I see you A. I see you A. I guess this is the A. I'm gonna unplug this guy here. Okay. Turns off there. Something is not right. Why is it activating that turn signal? So I'm gonna turn back on here. Okay. D. This guy. Last connector. Okay, now. Flasher is on. But. The lights are not working. <laughs> Let me just plug this back in. Okay. Flasher is on. Or the hazard switch. We turn this on. Okay, now the turn signal are on again. The lights. I'm gonna turn that off. So something is activating somewhere. We know it's not the hazard switch, right? We know that the signal that goes into the junction box um, there's no short to ground there to activate it like force forcefully right as we check here this guy because I think this hazard switch is just wants to see the ground 
it goes in yay i have ground now okay i'm gonna turn it on i think that's all it is there but there's no short to ground in here but our hazard switch is turning on um i think i'm gonna ask them if they can find another santa fe like this i can swap quickly this junction box and see if um if if it's gonna resolve the problem because i just i just heard from our <laughs> our advisor the internal advisor that um this one was been sitting on the lot and then they went go ahead and grab this car but it, it was dead and they boosted it and um since then it acted up like this uh, weird stuff happening and also um he also said that before him maybe someone tried to boost it because the keyhole outside the door was um the cover was removed right so yeah um i'm gonna ask my advisor if they can find another smart junction box this looks like we're dealing inside here there's nothing else right because that wire that goes in here is that shorted to ground right to activate this one so i'm thinking it's just here so um, um let's come back here once i i get a, a use good known smart junction box here and then let's try it all right guys so i just grabbed another smart junction box or icu box from another vehicle so we're gonna try this on now so so far when i plug everything in so far there's no lights hazard lights on which is a good sign i'm gonna turn our ignition on right now okay so far no hazard lights there i'm gonna turn this guy he's still showing check turn signal left okay does it show again okay now okay that's good that's my switch hazard i can see that's normal flashing now that fast and i can turn it off right that's good but i turn on my blower here i still have no fan so since i'm already swapping the smart junction box i'm gonna grab the blower motor in that one i guess it, i don't know what happened there why the blower motor was um not working so yeah um that's a good sign that there's no flashing that when we try to trace the circuit that it we trace it in this side here on the smart junction box that something could be shorted right but yeah let me let me just turn this off and then let me grab another blower motor on the other car and swap this since i guess they really need this car because i think this is a delivery so yeah let me grab that and then i'm gonna install that and then let's see the operation of the blower okay here's our good use blower motor uh, the, wow this is my first time to see that the size of this thing here because i know with uh, all the models it's just one here like this one is like dual dual fins <laughs> but anyway let's go underneath here so there's just three screws that's holding this guy here i'm just gonna remove our connector we're gonna do the farthest end and the, mm -hmm. So there's one there at the corner. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. Okay. I don't know why what happened in here. This is a brand new one and it's not working. So let me put this guy in. I'm gonna put you guys on the floor first. I need two hands on this.
Okay, but that's one. Last one. Okay. Okay. Let me just put this trim cover first, quick. Okay, so let's go to the driver's side and then let's turn on our blower. Okay, so let's start the vehicle. Okay, started no problem. We don't have any warning lights there, which is a good thing. Our flasher didn't turn on by itself. So, and you can hear the blower. It's on now, right? That's one, that's max, okay? So, I don't know what happened there. Why, like, there's multiple components that failed. But, yeah, they said that someone boosted it. And after that, it happened like that. So, I guess when they boosted it, it, it shorted that whole junction box there. So, yeah, with these new cars, be careful. And where you apply your booster pack or put your booster cables when you jump these new cars because most of these components are all electronics and very sensitive to voltage spike or anything like that so yeah at least everything is working now flasher turns on and off and turn on headlights no warning message there and our turn signal is working normally so when we diagnose that one um, we just followed for me was just the easiest um, access on the circuit and the very like determining factor is when we went to our hazard switch and thought that there could be a short on that wire that sends signal ground um, to the smart junction box but when we measured it we check it there's no short to ground on that pink wire so that's why we end up saying that it's the junction box that's going on something inside turning it on by itself so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed that uh, diagnostic i'm just gonna put everything back together tell my advisor that i just swapped parts and it needs new parts and yeah it needs to it is it's ready for delivery so yeah let me go let me know what you guys think and thanks again for watching see you next time